Today we're going to talk about how to fill out your graduation application. You'll first want to download the application from the registrar's website. You can either navigate to the registrar's website from the main NAU page or click the link in our first direction on our page. Begin your application by downloading the form. This will lead you directly to the forms page for the registrar. The graduation application can be found at the bottom of the page under graduation forms graduation application and instructions. You can either download it as a Word document or a PDF. What's nice about the Word document is that it is fillable, so if you do not have legible handwriting, the Word document may be your best option. After you download the form, you'll want to log into your Louis portal. Once in your portal, you'll want to access your academic requirements report. It can be found under your Other Academics drop-down, the first requirement. We'll come back to their report in just a second. Go ahead and open up your graduation application. The first two pages of this document are instructions and other important information about graduation. Please be sure to go back and read over these pages after the video. But for now, go ahead and skip to page 3. Let's start at the top of the document. For statewide location, for our Flagstaff Mountain Campus students, please leave this blank. If you're with extended campuses, please put what campus you are with. Next, we'll fill in the information about your degree and about you. Catalog of graduation is going to generally be when you started here at NAU. If you're unsure what your catalog is, I'll point it out when we get back to your academic requirements report. Next is going to be your student ID number and your user ID. The NIU ID number is a seven-digit ID number that can be found on your ID card. And then the user ID is the first part of your NAU email. Next, you're going to want to fill in your name and a good phone number for you. Be sure to list your name as you wish it to appear on your diploma. Next, we're going to fill in your diploma mailing address. This should be a permanent address, and unfortunately, we do not ship to P.O. boxes. If you're planning on moving in the coming months following graduation, you will want to have your diploma mailed to your parents, grandparents, or a close friend, someone you know who will not be moving in the coming months. The next section is information about your degree. Bachelors of something. We offer many different types of bachelor's degrees in our college. Bachelor's of Arts, Bachelor's of Science, Bachelor's of Fine Arts, Bachelor's of Science and Journalism, and Bachelor's of Social Work. If you're unsure what your degree type is, I will also point this out when we get to your academic advisement report. Some students will have a dual degree, but what's the difference between a dual degree and a dual major? A dual degree is when you're earning two different types of bachelor's degrees. If you are a dual degree, you will need to fill out two graduation applications. For example, let's say you're majoring in anthropology and journalism. This would be considered a dual degree, as anthropology is a bachelor's of arts and journalism is a bachelor's of science in journalism. Therefore, you would need two applications. But let's say you're majoring in advertising and public relations. Since both of these are Bachelor's of Science degrees, you will only need one application. Next will be your term of graduation. This will be the last semester you will be taking courses. If you are taking your last class in summer, then you'll put summer. Terms of graduation can be spring, summer, fall, or winter. Then be sure to fill in the year you will be finishing. Now we'll put in your majors, minors, certificates, and emphasis. If you have more than one major, we've provided you a few lines. If you have more than one minor and no certificates, you can go ahead and cross out certificates and write minor. Be sure to fill in an emphasis if your major has one. For example, visual communication majors will either fill in graphic design or interactive design. For advisor, you are welcome to put the person you've been working with and their phone number. Or, you can go ahead and leave it blank and we'll fill it in for you. The next section is pretty self-explanatory, 
but this is where we see the most mistakes. This is where you're going to fill in only the courses you have left to complete or that we still have a pending grade for. You will list courses you are currently in, those you will be taking in the future, any incompletes from previous semesters, and any courses from transcripts that we do not have posted for you yet. The institution will most likely be NAU, unless you are taking a course at another university or community college. The next column will be about the course. We are only looking for the prefix and the number. For example, if you were taking the sociology capstone, I would only want SOCH 498C. I don't want to see the title of the course, the section number, or the topic. If you're taking a PES 100 course, you'll just write PES 100. If you're taking more than one, you'll list them separately. The next column is units. This will be how many units the course is for. Then finally, what semester are you taking it in? If you are taking a course in both spring and summer, please indicate which is which. Do not put S for both. Use SP for spring and SU for summer. The last column with the star is for the advisors. This is where we will notate if the column requires a C or better, if it's a repeat course, or if it is an incomplete. The fourth page of the application is for students who need more room to list their courses in progress. However, all students must turn in a second page. Be sure to put your name and your student ID number at the top. Now let's go to your academic advisement report and unofficial transcripts to gather the remaining information for your application. The academic advisement report will let you know what you have remaining. At the top of the report you can see your catalog year and what your degree is. For example, this student is in the 2011-2012 catalog and is a social work major, which is a BSW, Bachelors of Social Work. Go ahead and click the Expand All button at the top of the report. As we run through the report, you can make sure you are meeting all of your requirements. As you see in the legend, the green circle with the check mark means taken, the green arrow means transferred in, and the yellow diamond means in progress. If you have not satisfied a requirement, you will not see any of these symbols. The first two boxes in the report are information about the report and a message to seniors to be sure to talk to your advisor as you're getting close to graduation. Next will be the overall NAU requirements. These are all requirements for your degree. You'll want to make sure that all of these drop down say satisfied. The biggest place where we see students who are deficient is in the 30 units of upper division. Make sure you're taking enough 300 to 400 level classes to satisfy this requirement. If something is not complete, you will see not satisfied. For example, this student will still need two units in order to reach the 120 needed for graduation. Next comes your diversity requirements. Once again, this is an area where we see students most deficient. Be sure to see that each of these say satisfied and that you see the indicators that we discussed earlier. After diversity comes liberal studies, then your major, and then minor requirements. Be sure to check that all say satisfied. If something is not satisfied, make sure what you're enrolling to for next semester will complete that requirement. For example, this student is short 12 units of Social Work 408. Therefore, they will need to enroll into this for next semester. If you believe you have completed a requirement that says not satisfied, be sure to talk to your advisor about it. Now go back to your graduation application. On the right hand side, you will see the ethnic diversity, global awareness, and other requirements. Now that you know how to read your academic requirements report, you should be able to check these boxes off if they were met or will be met with your enrollment. The next section of the application, we will need to pull up your unofficial transcripts. Go ahead and go back to your academic requirements report and scroll to the top. 
In the current academic summary, you can see your current cumulative GPA. Go back to your graduation application and fill this in. Now let's open up your unofficial transcripts, which are back in the academic requirements report. This will either open as a new window or download to your computer as a PDF. This report shows all of your transfer credits and your undergraduate record here at NAU. Please go through and make sure that all of your transcripts are posted and that we are not missing any credits from other universities, community college, CLEP, AP tests, etc. What we really want is going to be found on the last page of your report. This should show your current enrollment. For the last section of the application, we are looking for how many units you have earned. This is going to be under cumulative totals. We want the very first number there. Go ahead and put that on your graduation application. The next line there is how many hours you have left to complete. This will be just from what you have listed on your application. So this student has 31 units left to complete. Line three is gonna be adding up the first line and the second line. That's how many units you will be graduating with. The final line is total hours required for a degree. For all SBS majors, you will put 120 plus. 120 is the minimum units you need in order to graduate. Make sure that line three is either at 120 or above. If it does not equal 120, you are short units and will need to add to your enrollment for next semester. All that's left now is to print off your application, sign it, and turn it into SBS West Room 114. All we need is your signature. We will gather all other signatures for you. Congratulations, you just finished filling out your graduation application.